Fortnite Chapter 2 is officially 652 days old, which is weird because that means we're technically closer to Chapter 3 than to Chapter 1. I think it's safe to say most players miss the OG days, and so with Fortnite adding all types of wacky fun items like the inflatable or the Ferraris, I'm getting a little nostalgic of Chapter 1, okay? So here are 15 updates I would love to see return, maybe in Season 8, starting with the Drift Boards and Quad Crashers. So in Chapter 2, we are riding around in literal Ferraris, and it does a lot of fun, but they're missing something. A lot of people say they don't feel like Fortnite vehicles. They just feel like, well, any other car, kind of like Grand Theft Auto at this point. And when it comes to Fortnite, most of us are used to extremely wacky things, just like the drift boards and the quad crashers. Yeah, these aren't exactly flashy Ferraris, but the community found these 10 times more fun, that's for sure. Zooming around, doing backflips, and especially hitting sick trick shots. I mean, it's just what made Fortnite, well, Fortnite. So I would love to get these two vehicles back in the game or even something like them, like the surfboard or the shopping carts. But that's just mobility covered. Now we are begging to see the return of the heavy shotgun. This is probably the most requested chapter one shotgun to ever return. The heavy was vaulted in season seven and hasn't returned in chapter two at all yet. It feels like yesterday when we were running around using this thing, but no, it actually hasn't been in the game for an entire chapter. The heavy had such a smooth play style and Epic just won't add it back for some reason. It's probably because we now have legendary and Epic pump shotties, so there's just no need for a heavy now. But while it would be nice, it wouldn't be as amazing as constant map changes. Chapter one was one of the best things ever when it came to map changes. Every single season, we had new map changes all the time. And a lot of the updates we got, they were every single week consistently. We had awesome map changes and the map was full of different biomes like the sandy area Paradise Palms, the snow biome for Polar Peak. It just made the map feel so fresh and Chapter 2's map is mostly grass. So a lot of people would love to get these kind of changes once more. It does seem like Chapter 2 is heading in the direction though with the past few seasons changing things up and giving us new biomes and places to work with. So you gotta at least appreciate that. But one thing we don't see anywhere in Chapter 2 are traps. When Chapter 2 came around, every single trap in the game was vaulted and we've had almost nothing since. The community really wants to see the return of useful traps such as the campfires. I mean, we've had them around the map right now, but being able to place them inside your own box will always be the best way. And on the topic, we would also love spike traps back because they really forced people to think about their surroundings. It made build battles more interesting, house looting more terrifying. It was all around a really fun device, even if it was a tiny bit overpowered. I'm sure a few damage tweaks could fix that. But most of us are desperate for the return of slipstreams. Back in season nine, we got one of the coolest mobility items of all time. I'm of course referring to the slipstreams around the map, which made rotating easier than ever. If you dropped in one place and want to check out another POI far away, just hop in the slipstream and you're halfway across the map in just a couple seconds. It was perfect. Not only did it let people get a lot of kills in their matches, but it was perfect for challenges in the pace of the game. And I guess the only downside was people using them to run away, in which case you could just chase them. The community absolutely loved the slipstreams though, and they were one of the highlights of chapter one. And it's not just regular players begging for these to come back. Even recently, pro players like Mongrel have been pointing it out, and it might be our lucky day because the files for these things were actually updated in the most recent Fortnite update. So either they're coming to creative or they could be making a sneaky return to chapter two very soon. But I think pro players have something even bigger in mind because everyone wants to see a sequel to the World Cup. One huge thing that's been missing in the last few years has been the World Cup. We've only had one since Fortnite came out and yet it was so popular that not getting one in chapter two has left kind of a hole. The World Cup was literally one of the biggest esports events of all time, not to mention how much they gave away in prizes. But unfortunately, the second World Cup was canceled because of the events of last year and we probably won't get it until at least 2022. So let's hope that we can get it back soon because the whole community is aching for a huge esports events to bring us all back together. I mean, who knows? Maybe next year's World Cup will have an even bigger prize pool because of how successful the first one was. But enough about that because we really want back event buildups. One of the coolest parts about live events was how Epic used to hype them up in chapter one. If you remember things like the cube event, I mean, we followed Kevin all over the island and watched him fall into a lake. And even in the unvaulting event, Epic took it to the next level and made us interact with runes and stuff just as hype for the event. But in chapter two, it just seems like we sit around and wait for for events. The closest thing we've had to a buildup was a PNG image of Galactus in the ocean. Nowadays, we just rely on countdowns and leaks to know when an event is going to be and what will happen. But back in chapter one, it was an amazing guessing game trying to figure out where the cube would go next or what would happen when all the runes would go in the vault. Even the very first live event had the rocket being built live on the map and we were wondering where it would go. So a lot of people love to see these back in chapter two. But something a little bit more simple that the community would love to see return would be slurp juice. 
This was so many people's favorite healing item of all. I mean, minis and chug splashes are all good, but the slurp juice was where it was at. It was just a quick second to drink it all and boom, you're healing as you're on the move. It was so different and unique and you can't really say that for many healing items. And since they were completely vaulted at the end of chapter one, a lot of the community absolutely misses them, but not as much as some iconic map locations. It feels like we've been getting more and more OG locations in chapter two with every single season, but there's still some completely missing from the game that everyone wants restored to their original glory. One of these is Green Greasy Grove, and this wasn't Fortnite since day one. Eventually, it was entirely removed in chapter one, but all we have left of Greasy is the Durburger restaurant, but a lot of players want this back in its entirety. And the same goes for Tilted Towers. I mean, sure, we've had a few versions of Tilted on the chapter two island, but people just aren't satisfied with it. I think it would be so cool to have the OG version of Tilted from chapter one back. I mean, Epic even teased it in the season seven promo. And then finally, there's the OG factories. I mean, Epic did bring these back for season X, but then just got rid of them again when chapter one ended. A lot of people, including myself, would kill for these to be on the Chapter 2 island, so, you know, why not? We'd also kill for more new items. So we mentioned that Chapter 1 had weekly updates, and it was just awesome. These updates not only brought the map changes, but also new items. It was pretty much a new gun in the game every single week, but in Chapter 2, the updates have slowed down a lot more, which is fine, but a lot of the new items or features we get nowadays are disabled within an hour. Chapter 1 gave us boogie bombs, guided missile launchers, boom boxes, and they were fun and unique, but we've only just started to get wacky items now, even though we're seven seasons in. But hey, at least now we can have fun with things like the inflatable and the plasma gun. Fortnite is beginning to get wacky again and I love it. But it is a shame that we'll probably never get Friday Fortnite again. Friday Fortnite was the biggest tournament in Fortnite before Epic began to dip their toes in the esports scene. It had the biggest content creators on the internet competing against each other week after week. But unfortunately, it didn't stick around because Epic actually took tournaments into their own hands. And that was very cool, but a lot of the community is begging for something like Friday Fortnite to return. Maybe Epic could host their own weekly tournament where YouTubers or creators are competing. I think that would be kind of cool. I think the main appeal of Friday Fortnite was that it was our favorite creators rather than just competitive players, and people miss that a lot. But I think players would also love to try the bouncer launch pad combo. So in chapter two, we've had bouncers and we've had launch pads, but never at the same time. Last chapter, this combo was awesome, and people love to get that extra height from their launch pad with just a simple bouncer trick. This combo has been pretty much forgotten about by Epic, so we'd all love to see both of the items unvaulted at the same time. While they're at it, we would also like the guided missile launcher. You gotta admit, the guided missile launcher is one of the most fun items ever added to Fortnite. Night, and when we asked you guys what you wanted back in chapter two, this answer came up way too many times. You were literally able to rocket ride yourself, and yeah, I mean, it was pretty OP, but that's also the reason it got vaulted. Epic said that they were just disabling it to nerf it, but then they never brought it back. A lot of people would love to see it get the return we were promised, and what better way to do it than in chapter two? And speaking of unvaulting things, we need more community events. When Fortnite did the unvaulting event, so many people participated and voted just to unvault a single weapon. It was such an awesome concept that the community could choose which item comes, but that was about it for the events like that. We haven't had much choice since then, and if we could choose things in the future like map changes, that would just be a whole new level. But we have to end things on probably the most requested feature we've seen so far, of course I'm talking about the double pump. I mean, you can't talk about chapter one features and ignore the double pump. It's just iconic. A lot, and I mean, a lot of people want this back. I mean, sure it was OP in the early days, but with the nerfs to the pump shotgun and how good people have gotten at building, double pump probably won't be as devastating anymore. We've even seen it in chapter two a little bit with the dub shotgun, and everyone loved trying that out for themselves. So it's just proof that people are aching for this to come back. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. But thanks so much for watching, guys. It's been Tommy. We are so close to 5 million subscribers, so hit the red button if you haven't already, and keep it here on Top 5 gaming.